Super Dave here with another Super Dave review. Super Dave here with another exciting Masterverse action figure review in Wave 12, a Revolution figure. That's right, Battle Armor, He-Man, and just take a look at this awesome packaging, Revolution, a Netflix series. It's coming out this the end of this month, January, and you can see the artwork wrapping around here with the lightning, and there's Aldria and some of our guardsmen of Eternia guardsmen and there are some of the pictures on the back just check him out very cool those images there there's a little bio write up of him for wave 12 and the other selling points and we see the mystery figure is King Keldor that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Not sure if that's a revolution thing or a comic book thing, but I'm thinking now at this point must be a revolution a movie revelation of some sort. <laughs> but that is cool. And so there you have it. And then look at the book in on this side. So awesome. Really good looking artwork. I just love the artwork on this He-Man box. I like the overall look of these new packages as we looked at when we looked at Wave 11 and you can check out my review of Wave 11 as well. So let's go ahead and break open this Revolution Masterverse He-Man and check him out. And here we are in the Valley of Castle Skull, along with many other Eternian warriors, allies, and friends to meet none other then our battle armor He-Man himself. And let's first take a look at his accessories. First of all, our battle armor He-Man comes with two balled up tight fisted hands, a left and a right, which is cool. He comes with a battle axe. He also comes with a horizontally hinged right hand, which is awesome. Glad Mattel's listening to the fans on that. As well as a vertically hinged weapon holding hand. He has his gauntlet that is removable. This time we're seeing a little bit more gold painted on to that gauntlet as well as the belt there. He also comes with his regular standard He-Man harness, which does have a little bit more of a metallic finish to it than what we saw in the Revelation version as well as this battle axe has a little bit more of a shine than what we've been seeing. And that looks more like the classics, if I'm not mistaken, style battle axe, which is really cool. And then of course, check out his chest armor, the battle armor, which is removable. And you can pop out that front piece and put in a damaged one. We only get one this time. It's quite a deep looking gash, more of a black, dark charcoal black than a silver uh, may have to paint a little bit of a finish in there to give it a little bit of a you know scarred metal look you know customization but still looking good and then take a look at this head sculpt a lot of people have said they like it certainly doesn't look as good as the artwork but it is pretty convincing we'll have to wait and see what he looks like i'm assuming he's gonna look just like he did in Revel revelation which this isn't quite it but it is closer than the first one we got, which we'll take a look at that when we do some comparisons. But here we are, and now let's take a look at his articulation. All right, so going ahead and moving in our battle armor He-Man, we're gonna go ahead and just show you that you can pop these little tabs right here, and we can pop his head off here as well. Already had that somewhat loosened, so we could do that. And then you see, there are two more tabs we could just pop loose here on that side and then another one pop that one loose on this side and then you're going to be able to separate those pieces and we're going to have just our normal buck there was speculation that we were going to get a thicker chest and i'll have to look at it more closely in our you know comparisons but I'm just not seeing much of a thicker chest there uh, personally but they may be it may be we'll have to look I do wish they had gone more with the buck 
that came with the 40th anniversary He-Man. I like the abs on that version better and the chest, but he does look like he has some pretty jacked traps up here in <laughs> uh, shoulder muscles and neck muscles. That looks pretty cool. And so he's looking good, but we will take a look at that in our comparisons. But let's go ahead and pop on his traditional. It'll be easier to look at the articulation putting on this particular and it's very easy to snap on. You see there's a peg here and a peg here. You don't have to worry about kind of lining up straps in with a certain loop and then having to notch them in. Goes on pretty well there. I like that execution a little better than what we saw with the Revelation. He does look like, I mean, I don't know, I do think it may be a different buck. It does look a little thicker now that I put that on there. Uh, yeah, it does look thicker, and so yeah, let's take a look at him with his head sculpt on and just see the total package here and get his hand going in the right direction and his shoulders, you know, definitely round, his buff biceps. So yeah, he is looking really good. I like, you know, the addition of those shoulder muscles. I believe they did jack him up a little bit better, beef him up a little bit, which is what's needed from the first incarnation to this one i believe especially the skin tone and this skin tone is a hundred percent better than what we saw with that other revelation he man in my opinion you have the again the golder cuffs belt and gauntlet so that's look, looking good and even that that harness is his chest armor is a little bit more of a metallic look than just a, a flat gray so that is excellent and a, an improvement right there the head sculpt and we'll leave that up to you i mean that you know it's it's better than the first one by far but you know i'm still not 100 percent sold on it i st still kind of prefer hordak mx head sculpts his custom head sculpts and i'll show you that in comparisons we'll pop that on there but this definitely is getting closer and this he-man's awesome so we're going to be able to look up about that much. We're going to be able to look down all the way. He almost touches his chin. I really like those eyes. Those eyes are executed very well. He's not really going to get much of a t tilt. And that's such a shame because some of our other figures have gotten decent tilt. But this He-Man doesn't really get any tilt to speak of that would stay. It just kind of bounces back. And I just, just that's disappointing. May have to dremel that out and use some putty and see if I can, you know, improve that a little bit on my own. But, you know, it is what it is. Of course, you'll be able to look side to side. You're going to be able to get a full 360 with that arm. The shoulders go up at least 90 degrees there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which is restricted a little bit by the strap. But basically, we have the same arms. This left side does get a horizontal hinge whereas on the right side he does get the vertical hinge so that's nice for wielding the sword or the battle axe which is awesome and you can remove this gauntlet if you break the glue but I'm not going to remove it but you can get that off just like the other He-Man action figures that we've seen. Now here we have that really nice uh, like we started seeing in wave 9 I believe it was the I call it tripod nice turning on the diaphragm He's still going to be able to tilt side to side. He's going to be able to back, go back about that far. He's going to be able to crunch forward a good amount right there. It's crunching forward really good. And he's going to be able to swivel at his waist. He's going to get full splits. He does have the drop down me method with this He-Man. So this really the first time we've gotten a He-Man with the drop down method, I do believe. So he's going to be able to kick way up. He does, of course, have your double jointed knees which look good swivel at the boot he's going to get full tiptoes as well as rockers with the pinhole in the bottom so he has excellent articulation and you'll even be able to sneak out a little bit of height by using that drop down method and he also has the thigh cut there and you can line that up with the muscles but there you have our battle armor he-man who's also able to be a regular he-man to take the place if you did not like the revelation one you can you can go ahead and switch him out and there you have it you have that version and battle armor version if you please so that is 
awesome looking good and I want to go ahead and look at him again with the battle armor but this time we're going to use the little scarring part and check that out alongside the other battle armor he-man be right back all right so taking a look at our new battle armor he-man chest armor here this piece right here kind of bends so you just kind of poke through and you're going to bend it in like that and so it loads in from the front instead of the back this time and again this piece bends so you're just going to bend it inward like that and just kind of tab it in and it just almost pops itself in which is really nice now while i have it here i want to go ahead and show you this was our original battle armor he-man and you can see that the armor is definitely a lot more realistic looking it has more of a shine to it and just an overall more realistic this just looks so gray and toyish looking in my opinion and I did trim his skirt and leave the belt there on mine but um, you can see that this one is just a lot more convincing you can even tell with this piece here it just looks more realistic you have a golden red versus a mustard yellow and just a kind of a creamy gray and I like this more of a metal gray look so let's go ahead and pop it on our new he-man here so you go ahead and just pop on the first part just like so raise his arms slightly and go ahead and line up those tabs which are above here and you could take the head off may, may make it a little easier but I think you can do it without taking the head off but then you want to get that lined up and just pop this one seems to be a little bit harder to get on matter of fact I am going to remove this head just so it'll be a little easier I do believe because the hair is getting in my way a little bit and let's see there it goes it popped in that time and then you just line this up and pop that in there and then line this side up and pop that in there and there you have your battle armor he-man armored up so I'm gonna go ahead and pop his head back on here and let's take a look at them side by side here now one of the things you're gonna notice immediately with this new battle armor he-man is that he does not have that huge orange gauntlet with the hole in it that allows him to hold that special shield and so some may not like that or some may like it okay that they did away with that feature but there you see the first battle armor human you see that orange gauntlet with the hole in it that allows him to hold that special shield but there is our new battle armor he-man with his cool looking uh, battle axe which I think is really good and I like his gauntlet that has more of the gold just more realistic paint apps on this he-man in my opinion spin them around here just to look at the difference on their back you did have a hole on the back of this one so you could mount that shield again I like the back of this one better I like the way it looks again more of a metallic look and that is so cool and then here is one that I customized by painting it more of a metallic silver both on the armor and the shoulder pad again trim the skirt down on that belt area now this one also did have if you remember the dagger built into the boot so we did not get that on this version of battle armor he-man but that you know is fine I still think that this one is a vast improvement with the articulation the drop down method he's got the free loin cloth whereas this had more of a leather wrap instead of the traditional free loin cloth as we get here so there's are definitely and then his shoulders I mean I'm gonna look at that when we get to the other he the regular he-man but I went ahead and put the 40th anniversary head sculpt here he's got the two gashes in the first version here whereas this one you only had the one gash so you know that's a little different I do kind of wish they had packed a third one that had the other gash on here and I think the gashes look a little bit more realistic on this one especially with the new paint apps that I put on there to customize mine a little bit 
So we'll do some head swapping here in a moment, but you see what these look like. All right, so I stand corrected. There is quite a bit of difference in these bucks, not only the color, but if you look closely, the chest is improved. There is more of a definition to the pectorals and the neck muscles. They did give He-Man more of a jacked look in the chest and abs and neck area. The head sculpt is definitely better, in my opinion, here. But also you can see that, and he may have a little bit more ripple in this one, the, the old Revelation one here on the back muscles, but still you can see an improvement on width and depth. He's more jacked in this new version. So not quite as jacked as our 40th anniversary He-Man here, you can definitely see that his chest came way out, but it was closer. And I like the abs here a little better personally, but these are realistic looking. And uh, But look, this He-Man got the neck muscles. I mean, this one was missing that part that it should have gone up higher there. It just almost didn't have any traps, but this guy does. He's got the traps going on. Look at there. Reminds me of some of the wrestlers, you know, and it comes up off the shoulders really nice. And you can just see it. And even if I was to take off this here so that you can see it better, and I will right quick, you can definitely see the difference. This does have a little bit more of a chest, but this has more of a shape to the chest, I believe, as far as in his pectoral creases and stuff, and just the way it overall looks. Uh, they both could stand to have nipples I think but make it look a little bit more realistic I don't know why they don't do that but uh, the abs I still give the win here but as far as the traps man this new he-man gets it all day long let's look at the back he's still got the width here but uh, they did a good job here and I really like I think the skin tone better here than even I do here has still you know a little bit almost of that yellow look but I mean it's tan too so it's hard to tell but, um, you know, that's tip for tat here. This is the 40th anniversary, and this is the new Revolution He-Man. Let's go ahead and put the uh, chest armor on and check it out that way. 40th anniversary, Revolution new He-Man, and then the original Revolu Revelation He-Man with the Hordak MX head sculpt. And then there was the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive with the furry loincloth, boots, fur around the top and a more metallic chest armor and actual metal sword. And I did pop on the classics head sculpt, the vintage style classics head sculpt on this He-Man. But you can see how they measure up that way. And here you can really see those neck muscles, those traps really standing up, standing out here on this front view, giving him a depth and a bulk compared to the others even the 40th anniversary I mean yes the chest is huge but it was lacking the neck muscles so that is really cool and I think it this head sculpts growing on me I still like the Hordak MX head sculpt I just definitely need to get one in this skin tone here whereas this is yellow to match that body tone was just way too yellow in that very first version and I did paint again a metallic silver on the harness there on that particular revelation body but uh really cool this one actually looks pretty decent i think without having to paint it it looks a little gray there in comparison but you can tell it next to this one that is really gray that it does have a shine and a nice look to it uh overall compared to the way it looked in the first revelation chest armor and that battle axe definitely has a nice shine to it so looking good and here is our new eternia like viking type he-man with and without the shoulder armor but i did put the battle armor new eternity battle army armor he-man head here that's the one he came with i don't have the one with the helmet posted here right now but there is our premier art fx studio custom he-man head on the new battle armor revolution he-man and i have to say i really like the way that looks that's looking really good you can see 
just the detail there and the eyes just think that um, and the hair sculpt and the the colors perfect color match is great and I think he fits up there really good so shout out to premier art FX underscore studio and he customizes those heads and then there's Hordak MX head sculpt again in the regular revelation he-man body with the painted harness then the 40th anniversary San Diego Comic-Con exclusive with the vintage classics head sculpt so let's go ahead and take a look at one of Hordak MX other custom heads on our new he-man and there it is and I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that the skin tone is not quite the same and I've always wanted to kind of do something about the shine on that head it's just I don't know something about that one does just doesn't do it for me I like I like the one he did here though that one is my all-time favorite I just need this skin tone in this head sculpt <laughs> so I have to shout out to him about that see if he can get us one made like that but, but I do really like the premiere art effects studio version of the he-man head here with this body I think it looks really good there's the body and there's the ones that I'm kind of torn with I, I really like the one on the right I think it's a winner yep I'm thinking this might be my definitive revolution he-man head with this body I just think he looks really good and it just scores well with the neck and the muscularity and the color tone the seriousness and those eyes so I really believe that you're looking at my three favorites that's my favorite classic head that's my favorite revelation head and here's my favorite I'll say revolution head which that also goes well with the uh, revelation Prince Adam that we got in wave 11 I, he really does you'll see some of my if you look at my video you'll see him on there and some of my Instagram pictures as well but man just I'm falling in love with this he-man even more with that head sculpt so there you go there are some comparisons um, there's many other he-man figures but that's all that I'm gonna do in this episode hope you'll join me again soon we'll be looking at Mecha Neck next also just got the uh, wave with Snarf the Thundercats in looking forward to reviewing those soon but we're gonna be changing direction a little bit this year we're gonna be doing some more storytelling than reviews is my plan right now anyway but still be doing some reviews of Masters of the Universe figures as they come as well as Thundercats can't wait until Cat Slayer comes I almost want to wait and do Snarf when Cat Slayer comes but I gotta go in and get him in but anyway God bless you Happy New Year talk with you soon and enjoy some photos in the photo gallery.